My sister asked me to ask you this. What's the explain stock options? Stock options. What's the difference between buying a stock option and actually buying a purchase? An option, a like an actual option, like a stock option. So an like, option is the liability, and the stock is the asset. Tune in asset of, of liabilities. Over <laughs> liabilities. Shout out to Revolt. So, like, what a company offers stock options? Is that what you're saying? No, like we buy stock options. Oh, oh, okay, yeah. So it's, <laughs> you, like, wait. you act like you don't know what I'm, I'm like. Talk, yeah, what you talking? Which options, options are you talking about? Because some people have jobs where they, they offer options. No, like not stock, stock options. Option. Stock options, as far as calls and puts. Calls and puts. Yeah. So uh, it's it's really simple, man. It, the best way I can explain is if I asked you right now, right? If Apple is trading at hundred and fifty seven dollars a share in three years, do you think it could be $170 a share, right? If you believe yes, right, then if you invested in a, an option, you will put a call on that, right? Because the appreciation of the value has gone up, right? The equity has gone up in price. If you don't think that Apple would go to $170 in that two year span, which would be the expiration date. And I'm saying two year, because we go long-term when we do our option calls. We don't like the short-term because- There are no such thing as all long-term options. For the record, I want to be sensational tonight. Well, not long term. Actually, you know what? Let's not use. Let's say two years. We shouldn't say long term because long term is two, two or two or two forever. Two or three, two or three years. So we we go two to three year on on our option, our expiration date, right? If you did the opposite and said that that position would decline, right? And a company like Hertz or a company like GameStop, right? Where you're saying like, all right, well, GameStop is one hundred and fifty dollars now. In ten years, I can't see people going to the stores. Everything's going to be digital. If GameStop goes to 120, right, the decline of the asset would be a put. And so your call is trending upwards, puts trending downwards. Expiration date is the time that you have to make those positions. Um, and then you have a strike price of what you're going to think. So that's 170 that I just said, that would be your strike price on the call side. And if you did a put, that 120 would be your strike price on the put side. And so yeah. whether it trends up, or trends down, you can make money. So when we say that people are going to make money, whether the market goes up or down, this is what we're saying, right? If it trends up on my call, I'll make money. However, if I made a call and that, that equity depreciates, I lose money. So it's very volatile. Trading has considerable risk. Please and most of you, should research. I do it? Please hold the, the equity or the asset for a long period of time and you're good. I'm tired of playing with y'all. Because I was I'm trying to play with me. I was trying yeah. to explain to her. Um, She wasn't sure. I put her in Apple stock general stock mm. and I also put in an Apple call a few months back. The Apple stock, she's up like 30%. The Apple call, she's up 88%. Mm. So she was trying to understand why the Apple call was so much higher than the Apple stock. And I was telling her that it's not just yeah. directly related to it's the not. stock increase. Yeah, so in, in, the, inside of that is a, there's a bid and an ask. And I always tell people, pay attention to those numbers. Yes, the value of the stock is at a certain price, but they have a bid and an ask of where you can get into those positions, those calls or those puts. And so the bid, right? I always tell like if you go to a car dealership and they tell you um, the car costs $50,000 and you walk in and pay for it, that's the ask, right? You're paying the face value. The bid is the amount that you're saying that I'm going to pay for this position, right? So if it's 50,000, you're going to walk in and say, look, I'm only going, I only have 46,000. That's what I'm paying for it. And a lot of times people don't even realize that, that you could put limits on it. They'll just say, all right, I'm paying a sticker price. And so one of the things we always, I always stress when I'm talking to, to the guys is like, look, we're never paying sticker price. We're going to be patient. We're going to be patient investors. That Who, who says that? <laughs> We're going to be patient investors. Nah, but it's true. We got to be patient investors. And if we make a limit and say, like, this is where we're going to buy for, we got to stick to that. Even if it doesn't happen that day. Stop chasing. Stop yep. chasing and just stick to your limit. And you will see the the what patience can do uh, inside of just like something so small as the bid and the ass. It can change your percentage. It can change your gain short term and long term. Yeah, you Shout out to my guy Tech. I was talking to him, this change manager, before we got on. He said everybody just wants to flip tech um, to change manager. Okay. He's like everybody that he talks to in the music industry just wants to flip quick. And I'm gonna be. Can I be real with y'all? I get so excited to y'all not discipline. Y'all gonna make this so easy for me to take over. The more of you that are disciplined, all time return and this change since Art Basel Saturday, um, all time return for Apple is one hundred and sixty thousand percent. Any of you ever hit a trade for 20 or 30,000%? That's the difference. So the same way in which they get us to sell our grandma's home, we sell all assets too quick. We don't invest in anything but drama, gossip, or things that are depreciating liabilities. That is a coordinated plan. Because why wasn't anybody at scale telling us to invest in Bitcoin, Apple, Microsoft, Moderna, Tesla in 2010? 
there's a reason why that gap keeps getting wider and during every recession with quantitative easing, those of us that are poor, grew up in poor environments, get pushed down lower on the totem pole. Now, with these robots having babies and being able to mutate and reproduce and automation being at a faster scale than ever, they are pushing to make us a permanent underclass. If you don't know what that is, shout out to the good brother Claude Anderson, but the same way in which we don't care about Native American issues in this country, we will be reorganized and put into that category. But you guys wanna play and ask me, hey, what about this one? The only way we can increase this gap is if we make these moves together. It's not just about us individually, it's us about as a culture and as a family buying things at one time. So it's dope that we're our basil and going all these places, but I don't see us in our boardrooms. You guys talk all this stuff behind the scenes. I want to keep our sponsors, but most of you are not even on the conference calls quarterly. You have to be in order to have a voice. Please buy, stop looking at trade. And I said this, um, on a stock club call, all y'all keep talking about generational wealth, but then all you want to talk about on here is options and trades. Why? Raise your hand if you think you can out trade me and we can set it up. Call Swiss, I'll do the verses on that. Well, the most money I ever made has been long-term investing. Boring ass. Long and if I still had all my coins, and I know some of you been hit me, yo, the people from my own gox are going to get the money back. If I get two coins back, I'll, I'll be happy. Everything's not going to come back. Then BitConnect happened to a lot of people, right? All the money is made in the long term, but they have branded it to you and told you that it wasn't sexy. Please stop deviating from the plan. They're literally robbing you of your future. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. This is a good word brought to you by Ian Public, public service announcement. Um, <laughs> what is the biggest lesson you learned this year? Shadi, you want to go first? <sighs> Why not? <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, the biggest lesson that I learned this year is uh, you have to do your research, which I already knew. Um, stick to your guns, have patience, mm -hmm. and have a strong um, conviction when you when you truly believe in something. You can't be swayed by other people's um, opinions, other people's views, the winds of emotions. Ultimately, um, nobody is responsible for your wealth except for you, and nobody is responsible for your decision making except for you. Yes. Not even, not even, not even us. Like not even me. I'm a fine. I was financial advisor for twelve years. I tell people all the time, I'm gonna give you advice. I'm gonna tell you this is this is my ideas. But ultimately, it's your money. So if you want to say like, all right, this is a good proposal. I like this. I want to do this. Great. If you want to say I'm not ready to do this or I want to do something, all I can do is actually you know just give the best advice that I can give. Um, and it's up to you to, to process the information and, and do what you want with it. So, you know, that's something that is extremely important, I think. And I think too many people um, are basing their decisions based off of what other people are telling them without even actually knowing mm -hmm. what, what, why they're even basing that decision. Mm -hmm. Like, you know what I mean? It's like, it's okay to follow somebody if you believe in that person, but at least have some information so you can make a tele an intelligent decision yourself. So I feel like in this day and age, um, there's a lot of people that are just listening without actually having the proper information. And that's one of the reasons why we set Market Mondays up the way it is, where you know it's really an educational forum every week for two hours of for just free. for free, yeah, for information. Mm -hmm. And um, you know that information is something that. It's priceless as far as you really can't even put a price tag on it because it's like, how much is information worth? Well, it really just depends. You could potentially And if I made you money, please put yes in chat. Mike, please clip this up. There you have it. <laughs> ahead, cut away. Cut um, so, so yeah, so that's something that, you know, I think is uh, extremely important and uh, something that I definitely learned and have to, even myself, you know, sometimes time and time I have to really just, you know, take that advice. Can't you, the, the advice that you give, you have to be able to take. My graduates from my school being Forbes, backdrop. Backdrop. <laughs> a mic drop. Backdrop. Backdrop. <laughs>